Hi, today I like to introduce you to my new book, uh, the Meditation Matrix. So this book is available in uh, Amazon.com. Now, uh, just yesterday, uh, one of my friends messaged me. So he asked me this. He said, uh, "So Hendrik." You release this new book. Are you gonna make a lot of money out from it? Well, seriously, uh, speaking in a direct and open way, I think if anybody produce a good product and uh, selling it to the customer, and if the customer can uh, have a good use of it. And uh, benefit the customer, and meaning that the product have value. Then uh, the guy who sell the product deserve all the compensations. At least that's the way how I think. Like uh, living in Silicon Valley, when you produce a high tech product, you want to think win win. Okay. However, making money is not in my top priority list. It's not. What I have in mind is much, much critical than this making money stuff, or much more important than this making money stuff. And so I like to share with you today on what I think, and then uh, about the, the 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 books. Okay, so you can have an understanding of what is going on. Now, the first thing, we human, we like it or not. Is moving into an AI world, artificial intelligent world. Okay. If you watch TV, especially Asia TV, uh, such as from China and Taiwan, you can see that there are CEOs in the big, huge corporation saying that they're gonna lay off, say, three hundred fifty thousand. Worker, in next a year or so, and they're gonna lay off about eighty percent of their worker, something like that. Meaning six, seven hundred thousand people within next five years or so. And in the West, we know that there are certain company uh, who actually uh, actually lay off their manager. Uh, because the job can be replaced by AI, okay. This is a really critical issue. Really critical. Five, ten years down the road, if we do not know how to handle this properly, it is in deep trouble, okay. Now, in the uh, YouTube. Interview of some CEOs in the, the from China. They will say this: machine is good because it's intelligent. It can do job better, faster than a human. But human have wisdom. Human have heart. Okay. So, the issue right now is, so so what is this human wisdom is about? Okay, you know that human get replaced by the machine in the job they do. That means they're obsolete. Okay. Now, so if we get into the AI, artificial intelligence, we know the magic of the artificial intelligence is machine learning. <clears throat> the machine learning meaning machine can learn. And within machine learning, you have the supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and、uh, reinforcement learning. Okay, these are the magic of the artificial intelligence, which is as the CEO refer to. You know, the the machine is intelligent; it can do things faster and so forth, so forth. Now, when he mentioned human have wisdom, have heart. Okay. So what is that? 
So in one way you said the magic of artificial intelligence is machine learning. Okay. So what is the magic of human? What it is? If we do not know the magic of the human, how are we going to develop this magic so that at least we can par with the machine and we can handle the machine? Or people who get laid off can be trained to do what the machine doesn't do good or still cannot do. Okay? So we need to know this human magic. It is serious. If we do not know this human magic or human intelligence, how can we facing the artificial intelligence? And the people who are running corporations, if they just look at it and say, hey, you know, I can uh, uh, cut a uh, uh, cost down on my productions. And that is why uh, all this worker has to go. Then what is this human do? They get laid off. So why don't we train these people to do what the machine cannot do? So we can have machine to cost down and we still have these people to do things which is the machine cannot do. However, we must know what is the magic of the human compared with we know the AI's magic is machine learning and it is progress really fast. If you look at in the YouTube, you can see uh, many corporations have already offered machine learning software uh, services and so forth. Just, just look at the video, okay? So people can, uh, 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 how do you say that, to, to, to identify uh, different patterns of certain structure data and so forth, so forth, so forth, okay? And then be able to predict, pre do prediction and so forth. And this is real, okay? So, so the first thing is, so what, what is the human magic? What, what are we different than the, the, the machine? Okay. You cannot just say like uh, that guy, that uh, the CEO said, you know, human have heart, machine doesn't have heart, machine can do the job. So I like to ask CEO like that, if human have heart, why do you lay off your people without training them? And how are they going to find a job? Where's your human heart? Compare with the, the, uh, the, 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 the profit of the company. Okay, so what use is it for the human heart? How much is worth for the human heart compared with the, the, the machine? Okay, so number one again, what is the magic of human? We need to know that. Okay, now, the second thing, the second issue is all this meditation, qigong and all this stuff. And I don't mean in the sense of religious or spiritual. Okay, I don't mean that I don't want to get into that because we want to uh, uh, focus or bound our conversation in real life living. Okay, we are facing a new AI era. We need to live. Okay, we need to help ourselves. We need to make our living more efficient. Now, meditations. Uh, like a healing art, qigong, all kinds of stuff now today mostly has become a, a type of a tradition, a type of ritual. Okay. So different people can uh, have their definitions on meditations, have their uh, uh, interpretations of what qigong or the healing art is and all kinds of stuff. You ask people, 10 people, what is mindfulness? 10 people can tell you 10 different things about what is mindfulness. And yet, if you ask seriously, so what is the process, steps? Then most people will give you philosophical answer. 
and that is problem okay all these meditations and all this qigong or healing art stuff is ancient technology it's a human intelligent technology it is not those philosophy so we have to be really careful between philosophy and the the uh, the, 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 the the technology okay philosophy and technology for instance people who uh, practice the healing art qigong when they need to meditate they say well you know sing your qi down into your dan tian no a place in your lower abdomens and then he said well following the nature well I used to ask people so tell me what is the process of qi sing to the tan tian what is the process of following the nature well most people cannot tell me that well, I like to share with you for the people, you know, you guys who don't know me, I'm a diabetic type 1. Okay, so this is my uh, CGM, continuous glucose measurement, you know, implant my body. So I'm a diabetic type 1. I need to check everything, you know, to take care of myself. So one thing I do study for decades is what I call, uh, is the name is the six healing sounds. Of China this is about 1,500 years old high technology so the six healing sound what is it it is actually using different of uh, handling of the mouth and the tongue uh, in combination with the diaphragm when you're breathing to do massage in the internal organs well we cannot touch the internal organs with our hand but using the different handling of the mouth shape and the tongue and the diaphragm uh, moving at exhale you can actually focus on certain uh, 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 internal organ and massage it so to promote circulations okay so i went around well asking people uh, learning from different teacher different expert and so forth for this so for example so at this one time i was in uh, an, a forum in uh, in, uh, in in uh, in asia so there is uh, uh, another member in the forum who is uh, learning the six healing sound telling me he said well you know about three months ago there's this person uh, he got uh, liver cancer okay and he is uh, he's uh, poor okay doesn't have the money and then he he thought that uh, the six healing sound can heal him from the cancer and uh, this person passed away okay and at that time I asked people so how is this six healing sound works and at that time, I even used spectrum analyzer because I want to pinpoint, you know, how is this thing works? Okay. So there's all kinds of stuff, which is there is no specific, clear, accurate descriptions of what is the thing, but uh, keeping you in, using philosophical belief and everything, try to substitute this technology you cannot do that okay so there's two problems here one is so what is the human magic facing the artificial intelligence the second thing is all this ancient technology which is for thousands of years which is good for human okay because based on the experience this is big data in the in the uh, artificial intelligence uh, language is big data for thousands of years hundred thousand or millions of people go through this and we we, we know you now we can see the pattern and, and we can learn from this this is a technology now have be, now today have become what ritual tradition philosophical talk, talk. like a, my example on that person uh, who had the cancer sure the whoever tell him about the six healing sound can tell all the story, the legend, the hearsay, the philosophy. 
well, the guy who died is not the guy uh, uh, who, 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 who taught all these things. The guy who suffered is not hell. Okay? This is a big problem. So, this two problem is what I intend to solve. Well, as a design engineer in the Silicon Valley, I like to solve problems because the job of an engineer is to solve problems. Okay? And so, what I present in the book is the basic, the starting point to solve this two issue. This is not the end of it. I am not perfect. It's like all designs, all high-tech, it never perfect. You know, you need people to go again, uh, uh, evolve and getting better and better and better and everybody grow with it. Okay. So, so, so there's a reason I wrote this book. Okay. Uh, because it is important to us. Speaking about you, speaking about me, there's no different. Because of this bond with this type 1 diabetic, I understand, I know, I experience how the thing, the, 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 the struggle is, okay? So I can understand how is that person with cancer have to face and yet there's no solution for him. If I meet him today, that person, I'll tell him, forget about it. Go to the Western medicines. You can use six healing sounds to help. But go for the Western medicine. Because we want to make use the best of everything. Okay? So now, let me explain you what is this uh, meditation matrix is about. So what is matrix? Matrix is structure, model. Matrix means uh, array, okay, environment. So if you want to uh, make uh, the, 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 the get the benefit from 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 uh, meditations or the ancient technology, then we need to know the structure, the model, <coughs> the environment, the process, everything. Otherwise. We cannot make use of it. We couldn't even have a repeatable result. What good is those things? Okay. So, the first three chapters of the, uh, the Meditation Matrix book, the first three chapters. The first chapter is I make process out of... Uh, of uh, of the meditation common denominator which I have studied okay meaning I model I model the humans okay and the mind because you need to model you need to model the process in order to know what is going on there so you can have a control like this iPad they have a very good process of manufacturing, they know exactly what it is, what to do, so they know how to repeat to produce this product. Okay, so I need to build that model. So I built that model up here in the first chapter, which is I call the tools. If it's like you need a map if you want to go somewhere else. Okay, the second and the third chapter is the summarizations or the introductions of the two type of meditation base. The core of meditations is in chapter 2 and chapter 3. In the entire world, meditation can boil down to two category, uh, category of meditation, namely the calmness meditation, the insight meditations. And Chapter 2 and 3 give you a big view on what it is, okay? And also, uh, in like for example, in the chapter 2, it, it, uh, it shows that uh, the, with the maps here, you know, uh, which is I call the uh, calmness awareness map, uh, 
depend on based on uh, what you want you need to reach which type of uh, which level of calmness okay because you have to proportionate to the calmness you develop now remember I talk about the magic of human the magic of human like the AI have the machine learning as the magic the magic of human is calmness and awareness that is our human function so the calmness and awareness since Buddha's time it can be analogy such as a poem a water poem when you have the water poem calm down the water poem calm down the face the surface of the water poem will be able to reflect whatever the sky clearly the more calm the water palm the clearer the surface so it will be like the mirror to to see what to reflect whatever in the sky so there's the magic of human this regard of what human need to develop the uh, deep calmness of course you know calmness and awareness is our nature function human as you have if as soon as you are human you have this magic however in order to make use of it we need to develop this the calmness and then from the calmness you get the awareness and because of this calmness like the water pond you can calm down then you can handle your body mind and energy and that it come it, it, it go with state different state okay say if you are resting calmness here you can do only resting if you want to handle your body and mind and so forth you have to go more advanced or deeper in the calmness you can develop that otherwise you cannot do it okay so in order to face the machine learning human humans uh, education need to develop the calmness and then have the awareness and using this awareness which developed by the calmness when you focus on a certain subject you will get insight that is what we call insight meditations so in other words that uh, you have the pawn which is very stable very calm you can see the sky because the pawn is like the mirror now the same as human if you calm down then you get into the state of mindfulness and then you get the state of really sharp in your awareness you use that you investigate thing or you you uh, you 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 uh, observe stuff okay then you can break through it you can see the insight you can gain the insight that that's what you human is okay so that is the thing which is uh, we can use it to face the the machine okay now we have to be careful today it's just about uh, a few uh, last last month I went to Asia and uh, we have this gathering of uh, engineers and so forth and they they they, they uh, usually ask me say oh no so what is new in Silicon Valley I said well you know we have this great invention in uh, Silicon Valley so I said well if you want me to tell the invention I will uh, need you to buy me a dinner so all this old friend right of course we have fun and then they buy me a dinner and at, at the end of dinner the friend still remember about what I'm saying so, oh so Andrew, tell me tell me what is the invention so I pull out my cell phone my cell phone I pull out my cell phone and then I turn my cell phone to the back of the cell phone I say you know what's the greatest invention the most valuable invention is to put a big turn off not here so you can turn off your cell phone instead of keeping line your message there so everybody is laughing so why do i say that because human magic um, human magic is the calmness you're keeping using this thing 
you, you, your, your mind is keeping perturbed, like the water in the water pond keeping perturbed. You're not going to see the sky. And you're going to lose your magic. And so, like kids, if we educate them, we let them settle down, their mind is sharp like laser beams. If you keep in giving like video games and all kind of things all day long, you, you just uh, want them to mimic stuff, synthesize stuff, they never get the calmness. Now speaking about synthesization, which is faster? Human brain is faster or you using artificial intelligence to synthesize things? How can you compete with machine in synthesization? Well, human want innovation, breakthrough. And breakthrough is from where? Innovation is from where? Calm down, get the awareness, you study that subject, you break through. Okay? So, the first three chapters is about this basic uh, common stuff. Okay? And so, one know how to do which type of meditations, how different things in meditation relate to each other, and how is the processes and so forth. Now, the chapter four to chapter seven is actually details going through this the physical body the physical body elements the uh, the mind element the breathing elements and the uh, energy neural element this is usually people call it chi or prama but you know we just get it to the real world so that we can use it this is uh, new uh, energy neuro okay and uh, breathing in the third layer here why you look at people who want to learn meditation so why now i'm panicking i'm uh, i'm uh, i'm uh, having this uh, nervous anxiety depressed blah 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 and so when to learn what breathing pay attention to your breathing the next thing what you know this is what they feel suffocate well you cannot jump into the breathing this human nature you need to settle your your, your physical your mind before you can jump into that so if you have this one size fit all stuff, you're looking for trouble. And that's why I model this for, for uh, layer models there. And also in the mind layer, this is the function. You have the awareness, attentions, imaginations, and thinking. These are four functions you call out when you want, you need to use it. But mostly people today, we don't. Okay, so uh, so what we do? It is from uh, imaginations, you're looping to, uh, to thinking, go back and forth, or you're looping within thinking by itself. So this is what is going on but habitually. This is also called what? Monkey mind. Okay, it just unstop looping within thinking and thinking and uh, imaginations and imaginations. So philosophy within philosophy and you don't see even whatever in front of us so i model this out so clearly we know which is which okay if we don't model the process the steps we do not identify the mechanism we have no idea how to control that you cannot say well i uh, uh believe in hendrik hendrik is the guru okay this is the meditation do it forget about it even the Buddha don't do that. The Buddha have a lot of different ways for different people, different situation, different condition. It's not one uh, size fit all. Okay. So the chapter seven, uh, uh, four to seven is about to get all these details. And the state in every meditation, you have two state, and you have three phases. Two state meaning that you have a state which is you uh, intentionally regulate yourself and you have a state which is you have to let it resonance running by itself naturally okay and there's a state of entering into the state of meditation and there's an exit of meditations okay and then with this uh, four elements here then you know oh, how to uh, how to handle this 
this uh, this this uh, physical the the mind the breathing and the the prana the chi or the the uh, what do you call that the, uh, the 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 energy neuro this is a layer and layer and okay of course you know i i model this like in the neuro uh, neural network again this is ai kind of stuff right and model that so there's chapter four to chapter uh, uh, seven and then chapter eight is giving real example and what is the pitfall of the meditation practice today what we don't want to get into okay so so uh so in chapter seven uh there are many things including like the prana in the in chinese meditations how is the the, the focus attentions and the the, the flow of the uh, the, the uh, energy neuro uh, according to the uh, ancient Chinese, which is the qi. How is that qi flow? If you violate that, you get problem. Because there's thousand years of uh, big data there. Okay, so what I'm saying here is a common denominator. Okay. And then in the chapter, and of course in the chapter 8, I also mentioned there's a whole bunch of things which is uh, we want to avoid. In, instead of getting into trouble okay now and then also the posture how is the posture you know the principle how to how to how to how to handle your physical if you cannot handle your physical in your posture how are we going to get up to the mind up to the uh, breathing and the the prana or chi if you cannot sit comfortably you got problem that's why i have a process step here Okay, now at chapter eight, it is about using the wearable uh, device today for meditations. There are many things we can actually measure. Okay, like this is the breathing uh, measurement uh, during the, the, the meditation sessions and then the, the mind, the brain. And then also we need to use the, like the, uh, the, the, uh, the crocus meter, like I'm a diabetic type 1. This is a continuous crocus meter. Why? Because all meditation, you, you, you must not take anybody's words for, for it. If, if, like me, have a diabetic type 1, I measure for a certain meditation, what is the effect during that meditation same with the people who have high blood pressure they need to measure that okay in data or uh, the, 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 the data we take in the session we believe in anybody's words I don't believe why even because even in the same meditation techniques practice if something go wrong the uh, blood pressure of blood glucose will change. For example, people say standing meditation, right? Standing meditations. If you do that wrong, your body tense up because your posture is improper. Your blood glucose can go high because you stress now. Because it's it going to affect, you know, like the four element, the physical, the mind, the breathing, and the energy neuron, meaning it's going to affect your neuron network. Okay, and it gets stressed down there, your glucose can go high. So unless one going through that is, is flying blind, okay? And then, as for the breathing, as for the breathing, okay, or the mind, one need to be able to identify uh, what one do in the meditation sessions. Otherwise, it's, you know, like the breathing and so forth, how do you know that uh, you, you practice this properly? You don't, okay? And then, of course, uh, there's something about uh, fusion, fusion the, 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 the meditation process with the machine learning, okay? And actually the models and the like the four layer models and steps and, and the maps and everything 
it is ready to apply into machine learning. And if the machine learning know those four elements, know the maps, the machine will know humans more than most humans know themselves. And you can use it in a good way. You use that to coach you. Okay? See, machine learning AI is not a bad thing. Bad is human, not machine. With this process I'm talking about, you can use that to coach us. Well, you can have a device, measure our breathing, measure our blood glucose, and because it knows the four elements, it be able to adjust the meditations to coach us. Why well, in the ancient cannot do that? Even, you know, if you say, well, I need to meet Buddha to teach me meditation. Well, in a thousand years, tell me how many Buddhas is there. But with the machine learning for the AI today, with this process I'm developing, we can get there. And it can help more people. So machine, AI, we can make use of it. As what I'm saying, machine is not bad. It is a tool. The bad is human heart. If I keeping one to cost down and lay off my, uh, my, uh, my, my employee, I'm going to cause revolution, like prior to Second World War, when people doesn't have food. What are they going to do? They're going to make war. Okay, look at China. Uh, prior to 1900, when people are poor, they don't have food. If you don't take care of your people, you got problem. So the idea of running business, running this world, has to change. Okay, and of course we want to make ourselves more valuable than the machine. Okay. So there's chapter uh, nine. This is about the, 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 the using today's technology to help us develop human better. And the last chapter is a very short one. It's about compassion. Okay. Human need compassion. Otherwise, we're going to destroy our world. Okay, so this is about the meditation matrix. This is my top priority. I want to start something. I'm 60 now. Maybe another 30 years i dead already. But uh, I have 40 years into this Qigong, this Chinese martial and all this Buddhism practice. I want to present this to everybody so they, people who read it and study it understand how is actually the Buddhist scripture said, what is the difference between Samatha and Vipassana? How is one uh, get into the Samadhi? We don't even talk about high you know, uh, level like jhana and so forth. But we at least want to know, oh, if you want to have uh, revelations, you need to have the jhana state, which is a high uh, advanced uh, uh, calmness state. And then you develop your awareness and then you use that to uh, observe the impermanence of the world. Then you rebreak, you detach, or you get out from your mind trap. You can do that. So that's regulation. So, so mindfulness, jhana state, samadhi, and liberations or enlightenment, they are different stuff. Okay. Of course, I'm not that high, you know, I'm not Buddha, but at least that by data we know. So, this is to share with you today. Okay. And I'm uh, opening up a new Facebook group called uh, Meditation Matrix. So people who are interested in this, be able to go discuss in that, uh, in that uh, Facebook group. And also, this book is important 
and I, I, I purpose to make it, I, I live in Silicon Valley, I work in Silicon Valley, you know, you work in startup, you work in everything, you love the job. This body is important to us. So this book is written down also for the engineers so that they know exactly what it is without all the woo-woo, all this believe me, believe that. No, you get into that. Okay. And also for this book, if people want to read the Buddhist scriptures or the Qigong and so forth, this is a kindergarten uh, introduction so people will be able to uh, read further read the deeper stuff because this book is served like a gap so that people can uh, uh, move through the gap and understand what's going on and uh, again finally this is not the end this is the beginning i only can do what i can do so uh, hopefully human continue to grow better and better and artificial intelligence get better and better to serve human beings. It need not to be a war.